Hi, movie lovers. Welcome to Minutes, your go-to channel for in-depth movie recommendations. Today, we dive into the intricate and emotionally charged world of Meeting Ms. Lee, a 2024 romantic drama that explores the complexities of love, race, and personal growth. Buckle up as we unravel the layers of this poignant film. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more compelling movie recommendations. Meeting Ms. Lee introduces us to Carter, portrayed by Landon Amos, a young, struggling black writer whose charm masks his internal struggles and uncertainties. His life takes an unexpected turn when he meets Amber Lee, played by Janine Harrington, an older, enigmatic professional white woman at a bar in Santa Monica. This seemingly random encounter sets the stage for a weekend that will challenge both of their perceptions and emotions. After a night of passion, Amber reveals her troubled marriage and proposes that Carter stay with her for the weekend. Carter, sensing an opportunity to find his muse, reluctantly agrees. This decision marks the beginning of a weekend filled with thoughtful, humorous, and soul-bearing conversations that will leave both characters profoundly changed. As the weekend progresses, the film delves into the personal histories of both characters. Amber's deteriorating marriage is a source of deep pain, and her encounter with Carter is a desperate attempt to reclaim a sense of control and passion in her life. Carter, on the other hand, sees Amber as a potential muse, someone who can inspire his writing and give him a sense of purpose. Their conversations are a blend of humor and seriousness, touching on topics such as race, age, and the societal expectations placed on both of them. Amber's candidness about her failed marriage and her struggles with identity resonate deeply with Carter, who is also grappling with his place in the world as a black writer. One of the film's strengths is its ability to balance lighthearted moments with profound emotional depth. The humor in their interactions provides a respite from the heavier themes, allowing the audience to see the genuine connection forming between the two characters. As they spend more time together, true feelings begin to emerge. Amber and Carter's initial physical attraction evolves into a deeper emotional bond. They find solace in each other's company, sharing their fears, dreams, and vulnerabilities in a way they haven't been able to with anyone else. The film does not shy away from addressing the racial dynamics between Amber and Carter. Their relationship challenges societal norms and expectations, forcing both characters to confront their own prejudices and assumptions. This aspect of the film adds a layer of complexity and realism to their interactions. Amber's deteriorating marriage is a constant shadow over their weekend together. Her husband's presence looms large, and the tension between her desire for freedom and her obligations to her marriage creates a palpable sense of urgency. Carter, meanwhile, struggles with his own insecurities and doubts about his writing career. Amber's belief in his talent provides him with a much-needed boost of confidence, but he is also wary of becoming too dependent on her validation. The film's setting in Santa Monica provides a beautiful backdrop to the story. The beach, the bars, and the intimate spaces where their conversations take place add to the overall atmosphere of the film, enhancing the emotional impact of their interactions. As the weekend progresses, both characters are forced to confront their true feelings for each other. The initial excitement of their encounter gives way to a deeper understanding and appreciation of one another. They must decide whether their connection is strong enough to overcome the obstacles in their lives. The film builds towards a poignant climax as the weekend comes to an end. Amber and Carter must decide whether to continue their torrid romance or go their separate ways. This decision is fraught with emotion, as both characters have come to rely on each other in ways they never expected. Amber's internal struggle is particularly compelling. Her desire to escape her unhappy marriage is balanced against her fear of the unknown and the potential repercussions of her actions. Her vulnerability and strength make her a relatable and sympathetic character. Carter's journey is equally powerful. His time with Amber forces him to confront his own fears and insecurities, ultimately leading him to a place of greater self-awareness and confidence. 
His character arc is a testament to the transformative power of human connection. The film's resolution is both satisfying and thought-provoking. It leaves the audience with a sense of hope and possibility, even as it acknowledges the complexities and uncertainties of life and love. Meeting Ms. Lee is a beautifully crafted film that explores the nuances of human relationships with sensitivity and insight. The performances by Landon Amos and Janine Harrington are outstanding, bringing depth and authenticity to their roles. The screenplay is a standout, with sharp dialogue that captures the wit and intelligence of the characters. The conversations between Amber and Carter are the heart of the film, providing a window into their souls. The direction is masterful, balancing the film's lighter moments with its more serious themes. The pacing is perfect, allowing the story to unfold naturally and keeping the audience engaged from start to finish. The film's exploration of themes such as race, age, and societal expectations is handled with care and sensitivity. It challenges the audience to think deeply about these issues and consider their own perspectives. In conclusion, Meeting Ms. Lee is a must-watch film that will resonate with audiences long after the credits roll. It is a powerful reminder of the importance of human connection and the ways in which our relationships can shape and transform our lives. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Meeting Ms. Lee. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth movie recommendations. See you next time on Minutes.